ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் மைக்கேல் ரவினா அசோசியேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் த சப்ஜெக்ட் இஸ் சிஎஸ் எயிட் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஒன் இன்டர்நெட் ப்ரோக்ராமிங் அண்ட் த யூனிட் இஸ் பிஹெச்பி அண்ட் எக்ஸம்எல் த டாபிக் இஸ் எக்ஸம்எல் அண்ட் டிடிடி எக்ஸம்எல் எக்ஸம்எல் ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸ்டென்சிபிள் மார்க்கப் லாங்குவேஜ் எக்ஸம்எல் இஸ் அ மார்க்கப் லாங்குவேஜ் த டிஃபைன்ஸ் அ செட் ஆஃப் ரூல்ஸ் ஃபார் என்கோடிங் டாக்குமெண்ட்ஸ் இன் அ ஃபார்மெட் தட் இஸ் போத் ஹியூமன் ரீடபிள் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ த மெஷின் ரீடபிள் எக்ஸம்எல் இஸ் நாட் அ ப்ரோக்ராமிங் லாங்குவேஜ் இட் இஸ் யூஸ்வலி ஸ்டோர்ட் இன் அ சிம்பிள் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபைல் அண்ட் இட் இஸ் processed by special software that is capable of interpreting xml xml don't have any predefined tag and tags are stricter than html xml is also one of the extensible language and xml is one of the public standard next xml carries data does not present it features of xml xml simplifies the creation of the html documents for large websites xml can be used to exchange information between the organization and also the systems xml can be used for offloading and reloading of databases xml can be used to store and arrange the data which can customize the user data handling needs xml can easily be merged with style sheets to create almost any desired output the xml document can optionally have an xml declaration that is the open bracket then xml version equal to 1.0 here version is the xml version and encoding specifies the character encoding used in the document uh, syntax rules for xml declaration the xml declaration is on case sensitive and it must begin with the xml where xml is written in the lower case and also if a do- if document contains xml declaration then it is strictly to be first statement of the xml statement document xml declaration strictly need to be first statement in the document and also http protocol can override the value of the encoding that user put in the xml declaration the tags and the elements the tags and the elements used in the xml are specified in the element tag and uh, uh, within the angular brackets the elements names are specified xml elements are specified the elements are also known as xml node then xml declaration the xml declaration is the first line of the document here the syntax of the xml declaration is specified first the xml version and equal to version number next encoding equal to encoding declaration then stand alone status should be specified in the particular next xml tags xml tags form the foundation of the xml there are these type of fonts uh, tags are used first one is a start tag then second one is the end tag then third one is the empty tag start tag means the beginning of the every non empty xml contains start uh, by using this start tag that is the address for example address next one is the end tag end tags are specified with the one of the slash that means the backslash can be used with the anchor bracket next one is the empty tag an empty element can be represented in two ways and a start tag immediately followed by an end tag that is this are specified within the empty tag next xml tag rules xml tags are case in, in case sensitive and xml tags must be closed in the appropriate order xml element can be specified in the building blocks of xml each xml document contains one or more element the scope of which either be delimited by the start or end tag next also the empty element can be uh, also it contains uh, that can be specified using this format xml other features a common the other features used in the uh, available in the xml are ex- the command start with exclamatory mark and the commands cannot appear before the xml declaration comments can appear anywhere in a document comments must not appear within the attribute value next also white space white space is one of the collection of spaces tabs and new lines xml document contain two types of white spaces first one is a significant white space then second one is a insignificant 
white space then next one is the document type declaration that is the dtd the document declare type declaration attached a dtd to a document it is a way to describe the xml language precisely this is a declaration of the dtd that is the doc type element dtd identifier declaration one declaration two the dtd starts with the doc type delimiter and element tells that the parser to the to parse the particular document from a specified root elements next there are two types of dtd first one is internal then second one is external internal dtd means if the elements are declared within the xml files to refer with the particular dtd that is a doc type root element element declaration here the root element is the name of the root element and the element declaration is where the user declare the particular elements external dtd means that are declared outside the xml files they are accessed by specify the system attributes which may be either at the legal that means a dot dtd file or a valid url this is a format that is a doc type root element system then file name types of external dtd the external dtd contains the following type first one is a system identifier the system identifier enables the user to specify the particular location of any external file containing dtd declaration that means doc type name system address dot dtd next one is a public identifier public identifier provides a mechanism to locate dtd resources here it can be specified using the following syntax that is the doc type name public here the public is uh, to be specified and the public identifiers are mainly used to, to identify an entry in a catalog and also public identifier can follow any format however a commonly used format is a formal public identifiers xml schema xml schema is commonly known as xml schema definition it is used to describe and validate the particular structure and also the content of the xml data xml schema defines elements attributes and data type schema supports a namespace also so it is similar to a database schema this is a format to specify the particular schema x s colon schema xml is equal to that means xml namespace then elements used in the xml schema are x s element name equal to x type then there are some of the definition types are used first one is a symbol type then second one is a complex then third one is a global type symbol type means symbol type element is used only the context of the particular text that means some of the predefined symbol uh, steps are integer boolean string these are specified using the symbol complex means it is a com um, in this type a container for the other element definition this allows user to specify the child elements of a particular element and it also contain and to provide some structure within the user xml document next one is a global with the global type the user can define a single type in the user document and the next one is are attributes in xml schemas are provide extra information with an element attributes have name and as well as the type property as shown below x is attribute name equal to x and type equal to y